Hey, hey, Seth, wait up. Seth. <sighs> Charlie. Oh, are you guys coming out here? Uh, um, I, no, no, we're out here going on a leisurely fucking stroll. Yeah, we're coming out here. Beat it, Rhett. Oh, right, right, sorry, sorry, I'm gone. Bye. <sighs> Al, you really didn't have to come out here and check up on me. Yeah, right. Because something good will come out of me letting you run off and brood so you can look all pouty and sexy here by yourself. Nah, no way. I at least better be out here pouting with you. Cute. But joking about it isn't going to make the situation any better. Oh, I'm cracking jokes, but you're over here saying situation. <laughs> hey man, look. The situation sucks, but there's a whole lot of layers to this. So let's just look at it one at a time, right? Yeah, sure. You really tore into her back there. Your ma, I mean. Well, she's damn lucky I was holding back because... She deserves worse. She could have stopped this whole thing, man. We could have just been left alone. We didn't have to put anyone else in danger. We didn't have to come back. She could have done the right thing for once. Just one time. One phone call would have been enough. Nothing has to get fixed. I don't need a mother. I don't need anything from her. But she could have spared us all this trouble. She had the power to do that. And, and she chose not to. I know, and I'm pissed off too, man, so I'm glad you said what you said. Don't think I'm over here thinking, but Seth, that's your mom. No, dude, I get it. I was there when she wasn't around, and when she left you when your dad was at his worst. You don't know her shit, man. No benefit of the doubt, no forgiveness or understanding, and uh, I don't think she expects any of that either. So, if nothing else, at least you know this doesn't have to be some big deal where you two build bridges and mend fences or whatever idiom people use for fixing screwed up stuff. I... I don't even know what to think or feel. She's... She's out to take the reins from Derek, I guess. It was always right in front of me and I just didn't see it. She's just like him. She was never just along for the ride. She's the goddamn co-pilot. She wants to take the crown for herself, huh? She wants the power, the money. We did too, once. Yeah, but we were dumb kids with nothing to lose. Lost. And to our credit, we got out. Just about killed a man to do it, but we got out. Not everybody gets so lucky, I guess. Luck isn't what makes a person do right, Al. It's what's in you. It's a choice. And every choice that woman has ever made has been for herself. Whether it damned the whole world, her child, or anyone in her way. And she'll do it again. She'll use us to get whatever it is she wants, and she won't think twice about it. She ain't thought twice about a damn thing up till now, and no amount of yelling at her is going to change that. So what do you want, Seth? <laughs> Feels like no one's even asked me that before. Uh, there's been so many times I felt like I never even had a choice or a chance. And for once, finally, I felt like... I felt like I was okay. When you held my cheek and looked at me back at the festival, 
Sugar was there making a killing, selling their goodies. He took my hand and we went to talk with my pops. It felt like a new start. So, what do I want? I want to live my life on my terms, with the people I love and forget all about this. I want to find my own way, not because I'm hurt or because I'm running, because I'm trying to fix something that's broken. With y'all, I'm not broken. You showed me that. And for once in this fucked up life, I feel like I'm whole. And I can do anything I want, not because I have to, or because I'm trying to find some sort of path or calling, but because I'm content. And I can just... I can just live. I'm so sick of running away from the past. I want to run towards the future. So... If we got to put this past of ours to rest before we can do that, before I can close my eyes and not lose a wink of sleep to all of that bullshit we tried to leave behind, then I'm ready to do what we need to do. But the moment it's done, we get the hell out of here and we don't look back. Alphonse, I hate who I was and the things I did, and the way it all made me feel. And the fact that my mom wants to be a part of this whole way of life just makes me grateful that we live separate lives. All I need from that woman is a goodbye. That's what I want. You've done a lot of growing, you know that. I never would have thought all this could come out of you way back when I first... Saw you again, and I was going to beat your ass the night you showed up. You put on that tough prick act, and I bought it. I guess, uh, it was easier to believe it was real. That you were scum. And that everything I cherished was gone. Really gone. (laughs) That's what I had to do to quit lingering on the thought of you every day. To stop regretting. Now, now that things are clear, now that I know you better than I ever knew you, in ways that beat all the ways we used to lean on each other, I know that that regret pushed me to seek better. It can be a tool. And it can be a sickness. But that regret makes me so damn sure that I want to fight to protect what we got now. Seth. There's a pain in your eyes that I know I can't do nothing about. If there's anything I could do for you, I... Even if you just want me to shut up and listen... I know, and I'm thankful. I just... I don't understand how someone could forsake their own child like she's done. I've thought about it for so long. And now learning all of this about her, it's just... (laughs) I'm not even surprised. Of course she is who she is. It makes perfect sense. And you know what the fucked up part is? I don't even care. I don't care what she's done or what her morals are or who she's done wrong. I just don't understand why. I was never even enough for her to care just a little bit. We were close. I loved her so much and she left to... to what? Just go become a criminal. That's it? She felt so trapped by me in that little town that she couldn't 
just run off and start a new life. Her new life was this. Was I so terrible? Pop, sure, he was a piece of shit, but doesn't that just make it worse that she left me with him? With an angry drunk who didn't know the first thing about raising a kid. I have all these fucking memories of her, and she's glowing, practically angelic, smiling and laughing, happy. What am I supposed to do with that? How the hell am I supposed to reconcile loving her so fucking much while she loves me so goddamn little? When she loves me so little, why did it take me 20 years to find people who actually gave a fuck about me, man? Unconditional love shouldn't be some fairy tale. <laughs> And thanks to you two, I know what that's like now. And I'm mad. I'm so fucking angry that I want to give the same love to someone who couldn't be bothered to give a shit about me even when I was hurting and lost. And I needed her. I needed her. And she knew I needed her. And she didn't care. She didn't care, Al. You know, Seth, her absence and the lack of her being in your life, it never meant you were unworthy of that kind of love. I don't know why she's made her choices, but she made them, and she continues to make them. A long time ago, she made a choice to have less of you in her life. And now she has to look at the man you've become. And the person who's got to reconcile any goddamn thing is her. She's got to come to terms with the fact that because she's done what she's done, and because she is who she is, she won't get to appreciate the person you became. She won't get to be proud and stand with you when you become the man you always wanted to be. Who you deserve to be. And that's a regret that's going to eat at her for the rest of her days, because she's earned that. She'll have to look at you and see you happy, and full of love and goodness. And she'll have to know that she didn't have a fucking thing to do with it. That you made it there when she was busy fucking around and living her life however the hell she wanted to live it. And you went through hell and came out better for it. Because you're better than that. You're stronger than that. And you did it all because you had it in you. She didn't have to teach it to you or show you the way. And she'll live the rest of her life knowing that you became a better person than her or your pops, without their influence or their guidance. I know it hurts, man, looking at you like this, seeing you hurting like this. It's written all over your face. But you've got your whole life ahead of you, and it can be whatever you want it to be. And when you're finally at peace... You'll know that you won. Not for any other reason than that, than that you had the strength in you to persevere and choose love over bitterness and anger. You did that. And you should be proud. I am. I am proud. For once in my life, I feel like I did something right. Good. I'm proud of you, too. Alphonse. When this is over and we're back home, does this all have to end? Does all of what have to end? Loving y'all so damn much? I just... 
don't really know what it's all about, or what it means, or, or... Hey, hey. Relax. I don't have all the answers, but it's like we said in the car. We go home. Together. I ain't gonna fight this hard to make sure that happens just to say goodbye. And... Seth, you know I care about you, right? And sugar is pretty sweet on you, too. But, you know, right now ain't really the time or place to try and wrap our heads around all that. But if you're scared that in the end you're going to get sent away or left feeling like a third wheel, I really don't think that's how it's going to go down. You're not getting abandoned again. Not ever. Thanks. I was... I was just... scared. I know. And... <laughs> me too, you know? Like... the past couple of weeks have been pretty cool. It felt... right. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who felt that way. Uh, oh, hey, sugar. Hey, boo. Yeah, we're, we're all right. Just, uh, <laughs> uh sleep would be good. <laughs> well, I mean, only if we get to snuggle. I need several hugs. And so does this loser here, too. Uh, oh, uh, oh, me? N no, I, I, uh, well, yeah, maybe there's room for me, but n no, you, you don't gotta, I, I, I can sleep on the couch. It's not, oh, oh, <laughs> thanks for the hug. Thanks for the hug and for being, being so good. What's the matter? You going to cry again? I might. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Me too. Come on. Let's go.